What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. Let's get them. I think, I believe we have a new contender. So this is Dr. Josh Axe. Now I have seen a lot from Josh Axe. I've never had him on What The Fitness, which I'm not sure why, because I've seen a lot of BS out there that he's put out. This is just as good a time as any to have him on. It is important to point out that Dr. Axe is a chiropractor. Now, I am not dogging chiropractic as a whole. I have met good chiropractors who stay in their lane, who follow evidence-based principles. They do exist. But I always find it funny when people put doctor in front of their name, but they're not actually a physician. Because I think, you know, we have a, a, a responsibility to the public to understand that when people see DR in front of a name, they automatically think physician. Which is why if I ever put DR in front of my name, I put PhD nutritional sciences at the end. But usually I just say my name's Lane or I put Lane Norton PhD nutritional sciences because I don't want to give the impression that I am a physician because I am not but pretty good at reading research and interpreting literature. So let's see what Josh Axe has to say about rapid weight loss. Okay, so this is actually uh, not a video. It's an Instagram post that I'm going to read here. Rapid weight loss sounds appealing until you realize what it's costing you. Drugs like Ozempic, Wegovy, and even the new Hims and Hers injections aren't just melting away fat. They're stripping your body of muscle mass, accelerating aging, and putting your long-term health at risk. In clinical trials lasting 68 to 72 weeks, participants lost over 10% of their muscle mass. That's the equivalent of 20 years of age-related muscle decline. Muscle isn't just about strength, it's about metabolism, longevity, and resilience. Losing muscle means slower metabolism, weaker bones, and faster aging. Weight loss shouldn't come at the cost of your health. The reality is there's no shortcut to sustainable wellness. Just real food, movement, and habits that build you up, not break you down. Before opting for a magic injection, ask yourself, is the price really worth it? Okay, I always find these posts funny from people who knock prescription weight loss drugs who sell supplements. The GLP-1 memetics we have, on average, people lose about 15 to 20% of their body weight and they keep it off. That is by far the most effective weight loss treatment that we have ever seen. Diet and exercise don't come even close. Now people will say, well, that's because they don't stick to diet and exercise. Okay, true, but we have this thing that I like to do, which is live in reality. We can hand wring and get all pissed off about the fact that people don't follow diet and exercise, or we can accept the reality that a lot of people will not. So what tools do we have to reduce the rates of obesity, type two diabetes, and the billions, actually probably trillions of dollars of burden on our healthcare system. Enter GLP-1 memetics. And he's right. They are not magically stripping fat off of you. These do not enhance your metabolism. They are simply the most powerful appetite suppressants we have ever come across. I always find it funny when people are like, you know, my metabolism just isn't what it was before, so I'm gonna take Ozempic. Well, then you're gonna be really disappointed because Ozempic does not increase your metabolism. It simply is a powerful, powerful appetite suppressant. When these first came out, I too was concerned about the loss of lean mass. Now I'm gonna point this out. He is talking about muscle mass. The studies he is talking about are looking at lean mass. These are not the same things. Water is lean mass. Undigested food registers as lean mass on the DEXA. Your intestines are lean mass. Your bones are lean mass. Your brain is lean mass. All that stuff, all non-fat tissues register as lean mass. Even fat tissue is not 100% fat. It actually has 13% lean. So when you lose fat, you should be expecting to at least lose some lean mass because some of your fat tissue has lean mass. Additionally, when you diet, it's normal to lose water weight. It's normal to lose some intestinal mass because you're digesting less food. It's normal to lose a little bit of splanchnic tissue mass. Those things are normal. And in research studies where participants do not resistance train, the amount of lean mass people lose during diet alone with no exercise tends to be about 25 to 40% of the weight they lose is from lean mass, which is almost identical to how much lean mass is lost in people who use GLP-1 memetics without exercise. Where I wanna give him credit is yes, 
We should all be exercising. We should all be resistance training. Absolutely. But if somebody is not going to do those things, if they're just not, but we can get them to take a pill where they lose 100 pounds, they're no longer type 2 diabetic, we drastically decrease the risk of cardiovascular disease, we drastically decrease the risk of cancer and overall mortality, it's better for their life and it decreases the cost on the healthcare system as a whole. These things do not have to be binary. Just eat real food and exercise or just take a pill. Why isn't there space for both? I would encourage anyone, if you are taking a GLP-1 mimetic, absolutely resistance train, absolutely eat a high protein diet, absolutely exercise, you should be doing those things. But again, I like to live in da -da -da -da, the real world. And I recognize that some people are just not gonna do that. But if we can lower the burden on the healthcare system, I mean, listen, it's easy to say, well, that's their fault and they deserve what they get. Oh yeah, so you don't have a family member that you love and care about who isn't consistent with exercise and their nutrition? Oh, I bet you do. If you think that it's okay just to kind of let them flounder and die early, then I hope you volunteer them first. But in the meantime, I am gonna continue living in the real world. And if this is a tool that can help people reduce their blood sugar, increase their insulin sensitivity, lose weight, reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, reduce the risk of cancer, then I'm gonna be all for it. All right guys, hope you liked the video and I will catch you next week.